In this lesson, we're going to have a look at some more common fractions in algebra. Example 1. Simplify to a single fraction. Here we have three terms of which two are already in fraction form. And that is why I'm going to rewrite the 1 as 1 on 1 so that it's also in fraction form. Different to the examples we had in our previous video, here, one of the fractions has a numerator consisting of more than one term. But, even though we have a difference, the basic principles of adding and subtracting fractions are still the same. Therefore, I'm going to start off by determining the common denominator for 5, 2 and 1, which is 10. For the first fraction, it is important to realise that everything in the numerator should now be multiplied by 2. And for safety, I'm going to write 2 times x plus 1. The second fraction needs to be multiplied by 5, so the numerator will be 5x. And the third fraction should be multiplied by 10. Now I can simplify the bracket by multiplying in the 2 to get 2 times x plus 2 times 1 which should now still be added to the rest of the numerator. Just a reminder that when adding and subtracting in algebra, we only add like terms, and you add by simply adding up the coefficients and keeping the variable the same. So back to our example, we have some like terms. We have 2x plus 5x, and this will give us 7x. And then we also have the two constants of 2 plus 10, which will give us plus 12. This is then our final answer, because the two terms in the numerator are not like terms. In example 2, we once again have two fractions that need to be simplified. And I'm going to start off by writing the x in the numerator. And in the second fraction, I'm going to write the numerator in a bracket. Adding this bracket is very helpful when there's a minus in front of a fraction that has more than one term in the numerator. Now I can get the common denominator, which will be 24. So my first fraction has to be multiplied by 4 to form 4x over 24. And the second fraction has to be multiplied by 3. Here it is very important to realize that you also have to multiply the minus in so you will be multiplying with minus 3 in the numerator. So in the numerator, we now have 4x minus 3x. And then the important one is to realize that it becomes plus 6 when you multiply the minus 3 in. The like terms of 4x minus 3x can now be put together to get 1x. And then we still need to add the 6 and here we have our final answer.